The Mixolydian scale can be thought of as a major scale that just starts on the fifth note of its key signature. So we've got a C major scale here and its key signature is just nothing. There's no flats or sharps because they're all playing white notes. And to make a Mixolydian scale, instead of starting on the Do, which would just be a normal major scale, we're going to get rid of the Do, the Re, the Mi, and the Fa. And then we're going to put in the other notes, the top notes. So So, La, Ti, Do, keep going up the key signature, Re, Mi, Fa, and then So. And now we have a Mixolydian scale. So, La, Ti, Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So. We're putting this on the stave. We go through the same process. So if we're writing G Mixolydian, we need to find the key signature of the first note, if we're thinking of G as the fifth note of the scale. So to find the first note, you can count down seven semitones. So our first note, is, uh, sorry, our, our G Mixolydian note, the fifth note, counting down seven semitones, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That will find our key signature. So our key signature is just C. So we don't have to add anything because C major has no flats or sharps. So all we can do now is just put in the notes upwards starting on G and finishing in G. And there's our G Mixolydian scale. If we're trying to write F Mixolydian, using this first method, we need to find out what key signature we're going to use. So thinking of F as the fifth note of the major scale, we have to find the first note, which will tell us what major key signature that will be. So we can count backwards seven semitones from F to find that out. So there's our F. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So the first note is a B flat. So we're going to be in the key of B flat major. Let's have a look at our key wheel to figure out what key signature we will need and find our B flat. From the major reference point, it is one, two turns anti-clockwise, which means anti-clockwise, it'll have B flat and E flat in the key signature. So we can put those in, B flat, an E flat, that looks a bit more like an A flat, B flat, that's better. And then, starting from the F, we can just go straight up to the next F. And that is F Mixolydian scale. The other way of thinking about a Mixolydian scale is that it's just a major scale, but the seventh note, one, two, three, four, five, six, seventh, is flattened one semitone. So this is what it sounds like. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, to, do. If we want to write that out on the stave, then all we need to do is write out a major scale and then just flatten the seventh note. So here, because we're going to use method 2, all we need to do is find E major. So going to our key wheel, the key signature of E major from our major reference point is 1, 2, 3, 4 turns clockwise. So it'll have F, G sharp, G sharp, and D sharp. So we can add those to the key signature. F sharp, C sharp, G sharp and D sharp. And then we can put in our E Mixolydian scale, starting from the E all the way up to the E again. Now that is E major. To make it E Mixolydian, the seventh note needs to be lowered. So what is our seventh note? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Looking at the key signature, it's a D sharp. So if we've got a D sharp, 
lowering that a semitone will make it a D natural. Now we can't have any naturals or sharps or flats in the key, uh, sorry, in the scale of any modes, whether it be Dorian mode, Mixolydian mode, any mode. Um, so we need to put this natural into the key signature. So that natural there, we'll get rid of him on that seventh note because it's lowered it down and we're going to get rid of this D sharp here. So the D sharp that was there turned into a natural and then that natural went along and got rid of the D sharp and the key signature. They cancelled each other out. Now we've written E mixolydian.